What is up Android fans? It is Eric for mobile back again today with another ROM review. And as you can probably see from the title, this is a big one guys. There's finally a viable build of Lollipop Android 5.0 for the LG G3. So let's jump right into it guys. Immediately starting out, you can see this is Lollipop. We've got the lock screen notifications going here. Let's just jump into the phone. I'm going to get into the settings really quick and just show you that this is in fact Android 5.0 right there, Lollipop. Now this is built by uh, Team Veneer. Uh, they're responsible for the Veneer KitKat ROMs and uh, ROMs before that. This ROM is built and based off of Cyanogen Mod 11, or I'm sorry, Cyanogen Mod 12. So I have run this and the Cyanogen Mod 12 uh, Lollipop ROMs and they're for all intensive purposes the exact same ROM So this just happens to be the one I'm running right now, but here it is guys Android 5.0 and Really quick. I just want to tell you some of the things that aren't working so well so we can just get those out of the way uh, Number one up here in the status bar for whatever reason the location icon shows at all times uh, No matter if you have it on the high accuracy or battery saving whether or not you're using GPS the location icon shows in the status bar, not a big deal. It's not constantly sucking your battery or data. Um, it's just there. Um, another thing which is a little bit more of a big deal is when you turn the phone off and then turn it back on, you will lose data. Now, there has been a fix for this. You just need to get the term, uh, terminal emulator application from the Play Store. So when you reboot your phone, you're not gonna have um, a signal going to terminal emulator. Start a window, type in SU, and hit enter, and then you're gonna to want to type in kill all space R I L D. So SU enter kill all space rilled. Hit the enter button. It just takes a second and the uh, data will come back. Now I my data was already working, so it killed the data. But if you do it again, you can get it coming back again. Kill all Rilled, hit enter, takes a second. And so this is kind of a little bit of annoyance where um, the data won't stick through a reboot, but through this method, um, you can get the data coming back. So there it is, it's working again. Another thing has been reported is that um, the battery drain is a little bit bad in this ROM. Let me turn off terminal emulator here. The battery drain can be a little bit bad. If you go into the battery settings, now I haven't had this off of the charger for very long, as you can see, I'm still at 100%. Um, when you start getting things showing up here that are using your battery, there's one called miscellaneous, and it'll suck a lot of your battery. In this build, I have been running this for more than a day. I just recently took this off the charger, but that hasn't been as bad. My battery's actually been pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's it's as good as a stock LG build, but the battery is fair. It gets me through a day, so I think it's good enough. Um, the performance is exactly as you would expect from a Lollipop. This thing is quick. It's buttery smooth. All the transitions, you can see all the fancy animations like jumping in and out of the app drawer are really fast. Multitasking is pretty much instant. I really, really love the new multitasking um, card layout, this kind of uh, vertical scrolling carousel. It's crazy smooth. I mean, you can get in and out of things instantly. It's just really, really nice. I love it. Um, the animations in Lollipop are absolutely beautiful. As you can see, as you're scrolling through things, the way that things close and open. If you look up here at the icons, when you're expanding the settings, kicks the battery out and adds the setting icon. It's just really sleek. So, you know, it's for all intents and purposes, everything in this ROM works. The data works, sound works, video playback works. You can see the notifications here and you saw them on the lock screen. Um, the, the tap to wake and to um, put the phone to sleep works. You have to do it on the status bar to get the phone to go to sleep, but tap to wake, you know, the double tap does work to turn the phone back on, so that is a definite plus. And then here's the lock screen notifications. You can expand them, interact with them, just like Lollipop, because this is Lollipop, so there you go. Um, really guys, I have no complaints. This is still a fairly early build of Lollipop, so um, you, know, you could run into occasional bugs, aside from the ones that I have pointed out. Uh, I haven't had anything crazy happen. I haven't had any restarts or any um, you know, weird things like that happen, resets, 
it's pretty much been pretty rock solid. So I have been pretty darn happy uh, with this Lollipop build. Now, this is basically just stock Android the way you'd get it on a Nexus. There hasn't been a lot of customization features added yet because this is still so early. They're just trying to get it working on the G3 before they start adding a whole bunch of features. So what you see is what you get. There really isn't any sub menus for special features or anything like that. Um, maybe just in the status bar, um, the quick pull down and brightness control. So the quick pull down is where if you pull down from the left, you'll just get your notifications. But if you pull down from the right, it'll go immediately into the quick settings. That's really the only customization feature that I found in the ROM. But um, other than that, it's just stock Android. So um, I would definitely recommend this ROM. You do need to flash um, the 5.0 Lollipop, Lollipop Google Apps separately. So flash the ROM, flash the Google Apps. And um, yeah, I've been using it as my daily driver for the last day and a half and no crazy major problem. So definitely if you're looking to be on the bleeding edge of the Android uh, updates, uh, give this ROM a look. I'll leave a link in the description for the ROM and for the Google Apps. But uh, this has just been a really quick look at Lollipop, guys. I really appreciate you checking out the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if there's something you want to see in the next video, leave a link or uh, leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate you guys checking out my video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.